Hey. hey. Hi. Welcome, guys. Hey. Welcome to Tuttle Town. What's, What's happening? Up? You guys have a nice walk? Yeah, man. Han, I'm Gable. Cheers. Good to see you oh, again. Right. Nice to see you, Hi, Gable. Sarah. Gable. Pleasure to meet Always you. a pleasure. Great to see you, Michael. Yeah. It's been an exciting few months to get to this point. You guys are the final three after uh, hundreds of applicants. We made it. We made the we first made parts it. cut. <laughs> nice. And we got one more to go. <laughs> anyway. All right, so uh, let's let's start in the distillery. We'll we'll go through the processes that we're employing here for Hudson. Um, yeah. Take you through step by step, and then over the next couple of days, you guys are going to have a much more in-depth uh, immersion on the process. We have these big three silos, and they're very gray and kind of drab, and yeah. um, came to mind that hey, maybe we can have some local artists come up and paint them. But don't look, don't look yet. We got to go around from the other sides. So that's what the that's what the distillery looked like before uh, oh, before the new addition. I love the colors. Yeah, oh, we said man. we just wanted really bright colors, and they uh, they came through. So this one has got corn in it. You know, one of the issues with sourcing locally is somebody's got to have grain storage, and we didn't have the place to store it. So they would send it basically to the same mill that we still work with, Koshekton, yeah. and we would buy. They would bag it up, and we would buy it back from. But it was the same place just because they had grain storage, and we didn't. This is the mill. So the guys will bring the grain up the steps here, drop the bags into the hopper, goes down through the mill, and it comes out, you can see some down here, yeah. sort of like this meal-like consistency. That 500 gallons of mash is converting our starch into sugar, and uh, then we've got this slurry that's sugary that we can then cool and add yeast to, and then we've got sugar for the yeast to convert into alcohol. So uh, once we've got oh. that mash, yeah. uh -huh. therein lies oh. the mess. Science. <laughs> <laughs> So this is where the uh, the real whiskey magic happens. happens. So we got this in 2005, 2007, 2010, and then last year we got the largest one. Uh, so he'll fill this up, start the heat up, blast it with steam, drive off the alcohol vapor. As you guys know, it goes through the columns and into the condenser. All of our whiskeys are double distilled, so we do the stripping run in the big stills, and then it'll move to one of the smaller stills for rectification. And the rectification is where we make our our cuts, making the cuts. That's right. That's we make the cuts. <laughs> so this is where we do uh, our bottling. And for whiskey, they'll bring the barrels. So the barrels, once they get dumped, they go into these tanks. So right now we got single malt. That's pretty full too. That's pretty full. We got some four grain. We got some Manhattan rye. Uh, so these are already blended and at bottling strength. So these are at 46%. They've already been proofed. Goes through the filter. Takes out, fills up the top, we get a vacuum filler six bottles at a time. It goes over where they get corked, uh, over to the waxing station where they get dipped in the wax. Labeler, they number each bottle, your batch of bottle number, into the cases, stack them, wrap them. William Grant comes uh, once every two weeks. I think they're doing about uh, 18 to 20 pallets every two weeks. Today was a really good first day, I think. After so much positive feedback about the campaign and so many really solid candidates, to have the final three showing up today was really exciting. Uh, it's gonna be tough to, to pick one of the three. It's, they all seem really great and real rare characters, as we like to say. So we've got Sarah Doyle, who is uh, a writer and has a really great interesting background of traveling to Scotland and working at distilleries over there. Uh, and then we've got Michael Forsch, who is a local guy, which is really cool. His family goes back generations in Gardner. He is a ramp picker and a horseman and has been around Tuttletown since we bought the property. And we've got Han Shan, who is, uh, has been doing a lot of uh, environmental activism, but also is an amateur mixologist who had a amazing outpouring of support through social media. He actually uh, showed up with a, a bunch of bar tools and is ready to start making cocktails for us as soon as I'm done with this interview that's taking forever. <laughs>